Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla Nairi, and we are going to be doing some hygiene shopping. So we're going to be looking at Jergens, and the app that I'm using is called Eula. If you want to know, but I'm using this app because I want to make sure that there aren't any chemicals in this product that I don't want on my skin, or that could be potentially harmful to me. So as you can see, I did scan it, and it looks like the product contains petroleum. So petroleum is used in a lot of cosmetics, body moisturizers, um, but it has a gentle toxic carcinogen which promote the development of cancers and damaged DNA. But they're saying that they should be avoided if you use it in lip balms and lipstick because the effects could be especially concerning um, because they will never fully eliminate once ingested. So as long as you aren't putting this in your lips or on your lips that could go into your mouth then you should be fine as long as you use it on your skin. I find something alarming called propylpropin and it actually states that this agent is prohibited from leave-on products applied to the diaper area of children under the age of three but only because it is a disruptor that contributes to the development of estrogen dependent tumors and like certain breast cancers and what stuck out to me is that it said it's prohibited for use of leave-on products why would this be put in a lotion when you put on this lotion after you get out of the shower or the tub to moisturize your skin that is left on I understand it says under the age of three, but still, wouldn't you rather not? That's why I don't use anything with parabens in it, and I really didn't know that this had it in there, but it did not state that it didn't. So, yeah, this was probably one of my most favorite lotions to use, and now I will not use it anymore. If you scroll down to the bottom, it shows you where they're getting this information from, so it's, very, it's cited. So you can definitely look up these things to see if they are true or not. Um, and I'm just showing you here, just so you could go if you would want to, to see. But I, I would never make claims of something that I didn't know about or I didn't trust. Like I said, everything is cited at the bottom, so if you would want to look, then you can. So looking at the Nivea Essentially Enriched Lotion, um, it has the same thing that the other lotion had in it, which was the petroleum. Um, it's kind of the same if you call this EOS or EOS but yeah it promises that it has shea butter 24 hour mo moisture it's a body lotion and so already went over petroleum so that has that in there but the reason why I got a zero out of a hundred because of the combined chemicals I mean it's just not looking good for them so as you can see it has paraffinum liquidum in it it's a mineral oil produced by the oil refining process now the FDA does allow this to be used in cosmetics, but these oils may contain problematic residues. Just as we've seen before, it can act as a gentle toxic carcinogen, which may promote the development of cancers and damaged DNA. So this is kind of like what was used in the Jergens. Okay, come through Cantu. It's 100 out of 100. For skin and hair, it's mango butter and it's a raw blend with shea butter and coconut oil. I would highly, highly recommend just using body butters, just using stuff like this, just using mango, mango butter, shea butter, coconut oil, things like that that are natural because as you can see, there's so much put in these lotions that we don't know about. And mango butter, shea butter, coconut oil, that is very moisturizing. Yes, it could be a little oily for the summer, but it's better to know that you have something natural going on your body versus these type of things. I know one thing, no Cetaphil moisturizing lotion, don't play that. I'm so disappointed in Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It says it nourishes dry skin, but one thing we know about alcohol is that it dries out the skin, and it actually has that petroleum in there that I was telling y'all about. This one is called Eucerin. This is a advanced repair lotion. A lot of times these type of lotions are used for people with eczema, people with dry skin and conditions. It has a chemical in it called cyclomethylacone. <laughs> My, I can't talk but yeah so long story short it's a toxin for reproduction so if you plan on reproducing this is very toxic to you this is the native deodorant in the scent fresh peach cupcake believe it or not each deodorant is actually not created equal with native this deodorant contains a mineral oil called ozerkatite and this is a petroleum based mineral oil and it has the same 
um, properties as the other uh, petroleum based mineral oils. I would highly recommend try using something with, and mineral oils are not bad at all when they're plant derived. When they're petroleum based, obviously you can see that petroleum is just not good for your skin, but that's on a whole nother level. Um, I honestly would suggest um, a try finding something without these type of mineral oils in it. Find something with more natural, like I said, like coconut oil. Nevertheless, these mineral oils are used in these type of deodorants to stop the skin from losing moisture and also stop it from coming out like sweating. And that's what stops you from sweating with this native deodorant. However, again, the petroleum-based mineral oil is just not the go-to. So with the raw sugar, sugar scrubs, all of them are not created equal as well. So I noticed that the lemon sugar, raw coconut, mango, both have great scoring. The one that I noticed that didn't do well was the watermelon freshman. That contains a chemical called phyllotsy exanol. Got it. And it affects your hormones and fertility, but it is suspected. But what they do know for sure is that it can be toxic to the liver and blood. Wow. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how you feel about it, but I know I would not want to use this after. Here's to yours truly, Method Body. I've been seeing a lot of gurus use this and oh my God, you don't even know what's in this. They claim to use plant-based cleansers and it's only good vibes inside using rose water and pink salt, but here's what's really in it. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this because I will butcher it, but pause the screen to read. It says that it's a highly allergic substance. Um, it is used to replace parabens, so it's a preservative, um, just so they don't have to say that it has parabens in it, but look at it. It says that it has been completely banned in Levon products since April 2016 due to its allergic potential. It causes allergic contact dermatitis. And if you don't know what contact dermatitis is, I'll put a picture up. And this is a mild case, it's not the worst one, but I can tell you that this is probably a reaction on anything that is left on. So I guess it's kind of, it's okay in a sense because you don't leave this on your skin, you actually rinse it off but it's still there. I mean, who's to say you rinse it off completely? What if you don't rinse it off completely? I don't know, and I don't wanna know. I would rather not. Here's another one I would not try to butcher, but it says 10% of the population is said to be allergic to it, and I, they need to say something about this, um, but it is prohibited on leave-on products. This is another paraben or another preservative that is a substitute for parabens that is highly irritating, highly irritating. Here's another one, it's a sulfate. It's called sodium lauryl sulfate. It's said to be irritating at concentrations 2% or greater. Um, it is safe for human use when followed by a quick and complete rinsing because the risk of irritation is decreased. However, in cases of more prolonged use, the concentration should not exceed more than 1%. I mean, if this is your favorite body wash, you would use it for a long time, wouldn't you? I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it, it says that it alters the integrity of the skin barrier and it may promote the penetration of molecules that are harmful for the body. So because of that barrier being knocked down, you would think that something that's called deep de detox would be good for you, but it has the same chemicals as the others. So yeah, but this one right here, this stay hydrated, I could use this all day and I would recommend for you to use this um, if you're going to use Method Body. It's 86 out of 100. But when it comes to native body wash, they don't miss. Um, I scanned the Lilic and White Tea Body Wash and it is great. So I would dial promote this body product for kids and this is the rating. Why does it seem to have the same chemicals in it as the regular body wash? In no way, shape or form is directed towards kids. It should not be. I've always noticed when it comes to kids, love it does not play any of that. Just when I was about to have a nervous breakdown and a panic attack all in one because of what is going on, Dow came in with the excellent rating, so thank you so much for that. Thank you. Raw Sugar Body Wash is not coming with the same energy that the scrubs was. It only came with the same energy as the watermelon, so it's not bad, bad, but it's not excellent. It's not great, you know. Why, Olay? Just why, okay? I have this right now and I love it and I just use it for Valentine's Day 
Like, I want to fight. Like, what? So it has petroleum in it, which is what I mentioned before. One thing that I haven't mentioned is this BHT that it has. So it partially um, affects thyroid function. It may also have effects on your sex hormones and may affect fertility and development. And in some cases of allergies and irritation have also been found, but these are a relatively um, rare case. However, what? Y'all know what y'all thyroid is used for, right? What? Like, I never ever thought that any product that I would use would affect any of these things. Okay, y'all, we got Olay Body Wash. It's looking like the same thing. Seeing Aaliyah J mention a body conditioner in her last video, I think it was like a pamper routine video, and I was like, oh, let me try that. But then I went and did this, and yeah, never mind. So it has petroleum, just like you guys know, just like the rest of them, but there is something different here that I've never seen, and it is called DMDM Hydentoin. I think that's how you say it. Never believe what it is. It releases formaldehyde, a substance used as a preservative. However, the release of formaldehyde makes this ingredient irritating and allergenic. And formaldehyde is a group one carcinogenic, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer. And it is a category 1B carcinogen by the European Commission. So both of those groups know that it is a carcinogen um, chemical. I just, I don't understand how this type of stuff can be in things that we use on our body like what what is going on okay okay let's start a dub let's see what's going on okay wow pretty much all of these bht and that um chemical agent that causes intact dermatitis are in every single as one of these products and i cannot for the life of me understand why in the world is it in there is no reason then to preserve the product it's so crazy that these products are priced at different prices when we're thinking one product is better than the other one, but internally, no, it is not. It just says different things on the label. Uh, my 0% Dove Aluminum is not good. Oh my God. I've been using this for the longest. I haven't had any bad reactions to it, but it has BHT in it. It causes hormone disruption and cancer if you are exposed to too much of it. And as we can see, we don't know what products have BHT in it, so we can't even say how much BHT we consume in a day or in a week or in a month or in a year. We don't know anything because it's not disclosed on this packaging, and that is a problem. But how many products do we use in our daily routine that has BHT in it? You don't know, and I don't know. That's the sad truth. This is the best that I can do uh, before my camera starts acting crazy. So, sorry about the lighting, but yeah, you guys, so we are all done. Um, I don't know about y'all, but like most of that stuff actually scared me. I didn't even get done with everything. I really just did the body care products that I would normally use and that I seen a lot of girls using doing their shower routines or their favorites. And I just... Like, you already know, if y'all seen my shower routine videos before or if you've been on my um, YouTube channel for a minute, you know that I am in love with things that are not toxic for me. I'm trying to get away from all of that. And I have been getting away from all of that thinking that I was, but um, I can't remember how I got across or came across that app. But I came across that app and I started using it for my food, y'all. That is another freaking story like if you want me to do a video on food then leave a comment down below um i was scared like the grocery store that i normally go to like where i live at there's like no whole foods no nothing like nothing like that so i typically go to kroger and when i say using that app i seen that most of the food in there was not like it has stuff in there that you would not believe like for kids like i just i just feel bad for them like the hood snacks like i already knew them hood snacks weren't good for us but like seeing that like seeing what it actually is in there with them hood snacks like baby mm, i'm gonna be thinking about my childhood no more because i'm not eating that stuff no more like that's sad that shit is sad like the united states gotta do better i can i know why most of our products here are banned in other countries because it causes obesity it causes cancer like 
that's the reason why like every, like people are really really sick here and that's the reason why healthcare is not free because they know for a fact what the fda is allowing in these products like it's stupid like i'm so mad i was thinking about doing one for uh the food and i was thinking about doing one for like makeup and beauty products and stuff like that i don't know let me know if y'all would like to see that in the comments down below like i said if you did enjoy this video let me know um, give this video a thumbs up if you are not subscribed already make sure you subscribe to my channel please um but yeah let me know down in the comments um what product you use religiously and that you've seen in this video um yeah because i'm freaked out right now but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video bye